One of the diseases we've seen a lot of, unfortunately, over the last few years has been sudden death syndrome in soybeans. I was a little nervous last year, Brian. I thought we had a little bit of sudden death syndrome on our farm. I, I saw some symptomology showing up once we got into the reproductive stages on some soybeans, and it turned out to be brown stem rot. And here's one of the unfortunate things with a lot of the diseases that we'll see in various crops is they look like something else. So it may be difficult to determine which one you have. So let's talk about sudden death syndrome, when you're going to be likely to see that on your farm and what you can do about it. Sudden death syndrome often starts with early planting, cold soils, wet soils. Now you may say, I don't have any of those conditions on my farm this year, or am I just totally free from sudden death syndrome? Well, not necessarily. Your likelihood goes down a little bit, uh, but, but certainly you could still have some in your area. Sudden death syndrome starts with a fusarium infection very early, often within a few hours of seeding. So if you're planting your soybeans into warm, dry ground, that can really help reduce your risk of having this particular disease. The problem is it may not show up in your plant. You may not even notice that you have anything different in those areas that are impacted by sudden death syndrome until late in the season because the foliar symptoms don't show up until that plant undergoes some stress. So your stress may not happen until reproduction. Once you get into those reproductive stages, it's pretty stressful on the plant. That's why we talk about fungicide applications at that point for plant health benefits. Uh, you see it with sudden death syndrome. It shows up late and getting a fungicide out there could help keep your plant a little healthier. The fungicide could help, but the key is being out in front of that disease. Now here's the problem. Most likely the disease is already in the plant. So all you're gonna do is suppress it. You're gonna stop it from getting any worse. You may have already suffered yield loss, even though your crop may look amazing. But nevertheless, if you're worried about this, if you've had sudden death syndrome in your area, we really, really strongly encourage you, spray at R1, spray at first flower with a good fungicide. The only one that's labeled for suppression is actually Fortix. Now, Preemptor and Fortix are really about the same thing. They've got the same active ingredients. So either one of those is going to be our number one recommendation for sudden death syndrome, but again, you got to spray at R1, first flower. Okay, so what you're looking for on the leaves, a lot of times it will look like I said before, like brown stem rot. Now, as you look at the leaf, it almost looks like if your hand was on fire and you pressed it onto the leaf. Uh, it, it's kind of got that symptomology of yellowing around those veins, uh, so you'll see that up through the leaf. Now, it, you say, okay, well, you said it looks like brown stem rot. How do I tell the difference? Just split the stalk open. If the stalk is white up the pith or up that center of the stalk, it's very likely sudden death syndrome that you're looking at. And of course, if it's brown up the stem, well, that's simple. If the, the center portion of that stem is brown, you've got brown stem rot most likely. Since we're so far into the season, that's why we were talking about fungicide treatment. Earlier in the season though, there were some things you could have done to reduce the incidence of sudden death syndrome. The most important thing, just like with many diseases, is picking the right variety. If you've got a tolerant variety, I'm not saying a resistant, but I am saying a tolerant variety, you're going to have less chance of sudden death syndrome. Now, a lot of people will tell you, well, just plant a little later. Yes, that can help a little bit, but the problem is when you plant later, you usually have lower yield. So I don't know if I really like that answer real well. What I'd probably do is plant my fields that have less chance of sudden death syndrome, my best drained ground, uh, my highly productive ground that hasn't had sudden death ever before. I'd plant that first, plant the more tolerant varieties first, and then I'd save the, the worst stuff until last. Because yes, planting a little bit later absolutely can help. The other thing that can help is the seed treatment. We like a Levo that does seem to suppress sudden death syndrome. Well, so to wrap up here with sudden death syndrome, it is a big problem and you're likely to start seeing that out in fields now. Just keep your eyes out and do some identification to make sure you're not looking at something else like uh, a look-alike disease uh, like brown stem rot. With sudden death syndrome, the best thing you can do at planting time is plant your fields that don't have a history of sudden death syndrome first. Uh, plant them to varieties that are very tolerant to sudden death syndrome and then use a seed treatment like a Levo to try to protect yourself. If you're doing all those things, uh, continue planting. I'm not saying delay planting at all, but when you get in there into those fields that have a history of sudden death syndrome, again, do the same things, tolerant varieties and a good seed treatment. Well, sudden death syndrome can absolutely hurt yields, but so can our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control this weed coming up next.